Welcome everyone. Welcome to another class. We're up to class number 33. Baruch Hashem. We've learned a lot, experienced a lot, and we get to notice which is the most important. So last week we discussed the framework of stop, breathe, and observe which we've discussed to find time in your day, which you can stop. I know it's not easy for everyone because we are very, very busy. There's a lot going on, especially in today's world with technology, things are happening fast. And most of us have just have no time, no time, but it's important. And we're, we're learning why it's so important. To be able to stop, find for beginners just three minutes to stop in a quiet place where you can close your phone, nothing, and just to become aware. And like we mentioned, the only way we can do it is if you learn how to breathe because things come up when we stop, thoughts, come up, feelings come up, and not always so pleasant, not always things that we want to face, not, th not always things that we want to see. So we're learning how to just sit there, even though it's something that's uncomfortable, and you just keep on breathing. And eventually to observe, just back up, stay out of the way. There's a lot going on in your mind. Sit on the side and look what's going on. Become aware of those thoughts, of those feelings, and what comes up. And uh, to write it down is a good idea, just to make it a little bit easier for many. So that's the stop, breathe, observe framework, which is the beginning of any self-growth that we're looking for. And if we want any change in any area in our life, the first thing we have to become aware of what's going on, where am I? What am I running away from? So it, it could be hard. Once we get used to doing it, stopping for three minutes, you can up the game and try it for seven minutes. I don't think it's going to get easier. But you learn, you learn, you understand, you become aware of the things that come up and you don't get so scared. Eventually you can do it for 10 minutes, 15 minutes sounds amazing. Wow, if you can find 15 minutes in your day where you can shut down everything and just sit with yourself, breathe and observe is really amazing. Eventually, once you become aware of what's going on, you'll be able to do it in the middle of the day in the middle of your busy day and it's all in your mind like when you feel a little bit lost or you feel overwhelmed you're in the middle of a meeting or you're at work or at home whatever it is you can always tell yourself in your mind stop you know where am i you become aware you take a deep breath and you just observe even though you're continuing to do what you have to do with the kids, cooking or at work in the meeting. But once, if you, you don't feel grounded, you feel a little bit overwhelmed, you can always do this method to stop, breathe and observe. You can do it in your mind. No one has to know about it. And you can do it in a split second, but it doesn't start there. You have to do the work and stop during the day to really become aware of what's going on, of those thoughts, of those feelings. And ultimately not to be reactive, because if we're not aware, what happens is we, we're doing good things all day, hopefully, but we're reacting for all the things that are coming up in front of us. So we're not really making any conscious decisions. It's just, you know, I got an email, so I have to reply, and the coworker comes over, so I take care of that. But wait a second, what was your plan? What were you going to do today? So for that, you have to sit down before you start and say, where am I? What do I have to do? Write it down and you make a decision. When am I gonna do it? How am I gonna do it? So when things come up, you're in control. 
So that's what we learned last week. Now the question is, which many ask, and I think most people understand, but like we mentioned, there is no time. Do I really need to slow down, to stop and slow down? Why? You know, why shouldn't I just keep on being busy? Doing, I'm doing the right thing, I know what I'm doing. And uh, day in, day out, week in, week out, just keep on doing the right thing. So doesn't that sound amazing? Why would you tell me to st stop and slow down? So today I wanna to discuss just briefly the brain waves, the brain wave states that we discussed in the beginning of these classes on Wednesday night. And you can always find the recordings, menachembernthal.com, the top left. We discussed it a little bit and we'll discuss it tonight. So basically there are four or five brainwave states. So it's beta, alpha, theta, and delta. Beta is where we are alert, aware. And if, if uh, anybody, if you've had any, uh, it's uh, called the EEG, they can actually uh, monitor the brain waves and they can see a change while people slow down, do meditation, see how it calms down. It's just like the heart waves. When the heart, the heartbeat goes up and down, sometimes you're running fast. The same thing is with the, with the brain. And you can even be sitting on the couch and thinking that you're relaxing. But if we put on that EEG on the, on the head to see what's actually going on inside, it's probably, it could be it's racing very fast. And usually the body has an effect from what's going on. So you're sitting on the couch, but really you're, you're tense. It looks like you're relaxing, but what's going on in your mind? So the beta, the beta brain wave is what we would call fight and flight. It's like taking care of things, always being busy um, when things come up. It's, it's like what we mentioned, the, the rubber band. It's stressful. There's a lot going on. And not always do we feel it. When you sit down to relax and you take a deep breath, you could say, you could feel like, whoa, where was I? Like I was, on, you know, in that height, heightened brain, brain states. So the question is, what, what are we looking for? You know, we wanna have a positive experience. What we're looking for is to be able to calm down, to feel relaxed, peaceful, being happy with what's going on, happy with yourself experiencing life, experiencing what's going on in the moment. Basically just being happy, which isn't that what we're all looking for. To feel content of what's going on, of where I am. But the problem is that if we're always in the beta state, always in that heightened state, that's associated with stress, anger, when things don't work out, we're nervous. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna work things out? We're, we're, we're busy trying to figure things out. Sometimes we can feel depression, anxiety, and for the physical health, it has an effect. It weakens our health and an immune system because we're always like that rubber band, like I mentioned. It's like holding a rubber band and pulling it. That's not where it's supposed to be. That's not the healthy state. So when the, when the brain is busy, is active, it's engaged in mental activities. So that generates the beta waves. And those are the fastest for today. There is faster, but we're not gonna discuss it tonight. For today, the beta waves are those fastest waves and they go pretty fast, busy. A person in an active conversation, somebody back and forth, he would be in a beta state. A person making a speech, I'm probably in a beta state now, just performing, presenting, a teacher. What am I gonna say? How am I gonna say it? Taking care of the class. So you're, you're in a good place, but your mind is always is, is in a heightened state. 
the next level is the alpha state. And that's really what we're looking for. That's where relaxation begins, where we can relax, become a little bit more creative. Uh, super learning is when you have to learn new things. If you're in a relaxed state, you can retain more information. You feel more peaceful, tranquility and calm. That's what we're looking for. And that's in the alpha state. And that reduces depression, and it increases creative thinking. So the alpha state is slower. And a person that would complete a task, you were very busy with something and then you finished. If it's on the computer, you close the computer and you sit down to relax. That feeling of I finished is the alpha state. If you take time out, like we mentioned, sit down for three minutes and just breathe. That takes you into the alpha state. If you take a break, you're in the middle of a conference, you go out for five minutes, take a walk in the garden and you just breathe. That takes you to the alpha state. And that's really what we're looking for. That's where the, these, these are the ideas that we're looking for, that we, we want. And if we're not aware of how our brain waves work, we're never really going to get there. So like I mentioned, even if you sit down on the couch and you want to tell yourself to relax, but if you're not aware of how the mind works and it's so busy and worried. So even if you're sitting on the couch, your mind is still racing. So you don't, you, you can't tap into the relaxation, the creativity, the peaceful, calm states that you're looking for. So the question is, so we know some ideas we have how to get there. Meditation and mindfulness. So people, when they hear meditation, they get scared, but let's, let's put down meditation very simple. Very simple meditation, staying in one place and breathing. That's it. Don't do anything. You'll have thoughts coming in. I have to do this, I have to do that. Stay in one place and just breathe. We'll call that meditation. Nothing so fancy. You don't have to stop your mind from racing. If you want, eventually. But as of now, to meditate, sit in one place. You close your eyes, you take a deep breath. And you decide for how much time you want to stay there, because if not, your mind is going to win. So put on the timer, decide if you want to stay there for three minutes, for 10 minutes, whatever it is. And that's where you are. So that's meditation. And automatically you go into the alpha state, more relaxed and calm. Being mindful. Mindfulness, we've discussed in the past. Being in the now. Where am I now? That's it, not in the past of everything I, that didn't work out today, but things that happened in the past few weeks and not in the present. I, I mean, not in the past, present and the future, not in the future worrying, what am I gonna do tomorrow? How's it gonna work out? How should I take care of that? How should I take care of this? Future, 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 and the mind is racing. So not in the past, not in the future, just in the now, what am I doing now? Could you ask yourself this question? If you're probably listening to me, that's exactly what you're doing now. Where are you now? Sitting, laying, maybe driving. Just be aware of where you are in the present moment. Being present and mindful of what's going on helps a person get into the relaxed states a little bit more relaxed, becoming aware. And that helps you go into the alpha state, coming down from the beta, being busy of the mind racing, coming down to the alpha state where you can let your shoulders fall. Let things be where you are now. I'm, I'm guessing that you're okay now sitting here and listening. What's gonna be in a few minutes? We'll worry then. What happened a few minutes ago? It might be painful, but where you're now, you're probably in a good place. 
So just be present where you are. It's interesting if, if, if you observe, most of the time our worries are from the past and the future. Most of the time where we are present, we're doing okay. While I'm speaking, you can send the questions in the chat. I'll try to get to answer them. And at the end, we'll have a chance to answer some questions. So breathing, what kind of breath, what type of breathing? Don't, you don't have to change any breathing. You just, just become aware of your breathing. It might be fast, but if you become aware of it, slowly it's gonna slow down. You don't have to change it. You don't even have to take a deep breath if you don't want. But taking a deep breath would help to relax. But just becoming aware of my breathing, that itself eventually calms down. Um, usually before we go to sleep, depends. Some people are more heightened and they have a hard time going to sleep. But most people, right before falling asleep or right in the beginning of the day when they wake up, they're in a very relaxed state. There's nothing going on, very relaxed. And that's even, it can be even less than alpha. But there are many people that even when they're sleeping, there's stress going on. And if we don't learn some relaxation techniques, you might think, okay, I'm gonna go to sleep, I'll relax, but the subconscious is this, this stress. And if you wake up in the morning with, with clenched teeth, why is that? What's going on? Didn't I sleep all night? Why was, was I worried? I was I thinking? Yes, our subconscious conscious mind is still alert. So we do have to do some relaxation techniques actively actively decide I'm gonna do some relaxation techniques. So here are some ideas. So number one could be deep breathing for a few minutes in and out. Just deep breathing for a few minutes. That helps to relax. Guided imagery, if you can listen. Somebody speaking, it could be headphones, there are some recordings you can listen and they guide you to a relaxed state, it might take you to a comfortable place, even though it's not happening. Um, it's not actually happening, but you can imagine, you can imagine sitting in the sun by the beach and you'll start feeling it. For some people, prayer is relaxation. Yoga, some people some exercise and any exercise really helps because it releases stress and just becoming aware body awareness becoming aware of how i feel where do i feel stress that helps to relax but again like we discussed in the beginning why slow down why stop and slow down because we want to we want to tap into those relaxation into that state of being relaxed and calm so we can be happier. If we're busy all day, you see, even if you're doing something which you might think is you're doing it slower, but you're busy, 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 busy. I'll give you an example. You might do some prayer, davening, but many people, even with davening, it doesn't help them to relax. It doesn't because it's just another thing on the list that has to be done. So you're forever doing things on your list that I need to do. And that's usually in that beta state. What we want is to do active, to actively calm down and to be able to sit down and relax. Now I do wanna finish with tonight, very important before we go on to the short exercise. Put a person in a room with something that they hate. Put them in a situation, put them in front of a person that they can't, they don't get along. Put them in, a, in that place and tell them, stay there and just breathe. That's the worst thing you can do to somebody. If, if I can't stay on my phone and be distracted, that's the worst thing you can do. So we have to become aware, which I mentioned many times, when we're slowing down and we're becoming present, these negative thoughts come up. And if it's another person, it's very hard. Now, what if it's 
myself. If I'm sitting in a room doing nothing, I have to sit with myself and breathe and stay there. You're like tying me down because I want to run away. I want to stay on my phone. I want to be busy. It's very hard to be in a place where the negativity comes up. And that's why we do have to practice a little bit of making sure there are positive traits. You should be able to make that list of the positive things about yourself and take it in and feel it. Spend some time with the positive things about yourself. And spending time is important because the negative sits there. When you have stress, you're worried about it for who knows how long. But when a positive thing happens, when you see something positive about yourself, you might see it for a minute and then you go on with the stress. So if there's something positive that comes up, you did something, it worked out, you're happy with yourself where you are, sit down, imagine the sun shining on you. And for at least 10 seconds, breathe, take it in. Take in those positives about yourself and about your, the life around you and experience it. And that's the only way you'll be able to sit when these negative things come up. So that's always very important. And again, for those who went through real trauma, their the childhood and things come up from the childhood, which they can't, it's very important to find somebody that can hold your hand, a professional that can help you walk through it, understand it, look at it from an adult point of view and how you should talk to that inner child. So for tonight, I just wanna end with a very brief relaxation with some positive affirmations. And you probably listening, if you're not driving or just sitting here and listening, you're probably in the alpha state already, relaxed. It could be I press some buttons by saying certain things and that would make you nervous, anxious, that's possible. You can always send it into the chat and let me know where you are. But most people listening, just listening, and sometimes the way I talk, if it's you know, more deeper, slower, it puts you in that alpha state. And just spending your Wednesday nights here is important. If you can't do it yourself, you come here and you get some time with yourself to relax and to get down from the beta state into the alpha state. So let's do a short relaxation technique. Make yourself comfortable. Take a deep breath. Let your shoulders fall and become aware of where you feel stress in your body. Breathe into that place. If it's your arms, your stomach, breathe in and out. Just feel that relaxation. And now in that alpha state, in the more relaxed states, I'm going to say 10 affirmations you can follow along or just listen and take it in. I lack nothing. Breathe it in. I am complete. I am healed. Become aware if any negative thoughts come up. It's okay. I am whole. I am gifted. I add to people's life. I am a loving person. I am easy to love. I am needed. I am enough. Take a deep breath. Take, a look, take it all in and sit with it. And when you're comfortable, you can open your eyes.
and just become aware of where you are, how you feel. And that's it for tonight. Any questions, put them in the chat. I'll try to answer them. And I want to thank you for all coming and for being with me tonight and giving yourself some time to just be in that alpha state, relaxed state. And if any negatives come up, comes up, become aware of it, breathe and stay there. Thank you for your feedback. Any questions you can put into the chat. Interesting question, right when you wake up in the morning, what state are you in? Now it depends, every person is different, like I mentioned. Some people, they have a plan and they're worried about the next day, they have to catch a flight. They're not waking up in the alpha state. I'm glad you like the affirmations. Thank you for the feedback. You should be able to have, have it on a piece of paper and find time to do it. Don't wait for me. It's always easier with other people. Find time, give it, for you, give it to yourself. Yes, going through stages, it happens automatically. So I'm not sure what stages you're talking about. It could be stages of the brain waves. It does happen automatically. Sometimes we're more, more relaxed, sometimes we're busy, but I'm discussing in general and in today's days that we're so busy and technology, thank you for technology. Things are very instant. You get an email or a text, people expect to answer right away. And you're always running and running and running. Automatically, you're always in that stressful state. And it's subconscious. You might not be aware. You might, if I ask you, are you stressed? I say, no, I'm good. But it's all... If you can sit down and feel your body relax, that means till now you were stressed. Your shoulder was like this the whole time. If you can sit down and say, wait a second, let me let my shoulders fall. When you feel it falling, that means it was up. It's very important just to become aware. How do I feel? Where am I? That itself is, is already the first step. If you can say, where am I? What am I feeling? Even if you're not going to do anything about it, just the awareness is step number one. Become aware, where am I? That's mindfulness. Where am I now? Ask yourself the question, what am I doing now? That's it. Then you'll become aware. Yeah, I'm wasting my time. I shouldn't be doing this. I should be doing something else. Okay, fine. But ask yourself, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Just become mindful of where am I and what do I feel? before you get up in the morning or before you go to sleep. It is, is, it's a good idea to first, before you start anything, to just become aware of where your mind is. See if it's quieter, if it's more relaxed. Now, there is an idea that you wanna put in all the positive things in your day when you're relaxed and you wanna see yourself in the, in the present tense. You tell yourself, um, I'm succeeding, I'm, I'm, it, I'm, it's working out, things are working out. You tell yourself in a positive state when you're relaxed and you tell yourself, I'm okay, I am managing, it's working out. And that goes into the subconscious. So when you are in alpha states or you do meditation, mindfulness, when you feel very relaxed, it's a good time to plant those positive affirmations about yourself and about the things that you do during your day. And then you'll see things will become easier because that's the work in the subconscious. Thank you very much for joining and I'll see you next week. Mitzvah